And even to walk better our career and everlasting master. Father, I pray that you are going to be with each one of us. Whatever we are going to run as we begin this session, oh God, you are going to be with us and you are going to guide us in the name of Jesus Christ. Be our good beginning, our Father. Because the Bible says that you declare us the end from the beginning. And my Father, we know as we complete tomorrow, all the honor and glory shall be unto your holy name. We appreciate you and we honor you. You are welcome, our Father, to be with us. Guide us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Kate Nantera and I'm the Contest and Competition Manager. Welcome for the time. Good morning. My name is Chao Mwadime and I'm the hotel manager. And on behalf of the staff and the management of the Chaka Hotel, we'd like to welcome you all. And we do acknowledge your presence and appreciate your stay. Um, with regard to your booking, you're booked on a full day conference package. That means you're entitled to the day meal. AMT is at between 10 and 11, lunch from 1 to 2, and PMT from 4 to 5. To get a backup special dietary requirement, please let us know in advance so that we are able to plan for the same. Your meals will be served in one of the restaurants if you show directions to that. And uh, please let us ensure that uh, your name is, uh, is uh, you're, you're registered on the our registration, registration form because we'll be using that lead to counter check. Uh, because we used to use lead card before, but because of, because of COVID, Nowadays, we are avoiding that uh, con too much contact. So we re request that to ensure your name is, is on the registration form. And then with regard to COVID, we'd like to assure you that the management has taken and is still taking necessary precautions to ensure the safety of all our guests and our staff within the premises. So we request that you kindly adhere to the set rules and regulations and just as a reminder, let us have remember to have our masks on at all times. And during meal times, buffet lunch will be assisted. Go buffet, soup will be served on the table, and our staff are the ones who will be serving you. By that we mean uh, we just don't want everyone to handle the serving food. So our staff will be serving, but it does not mean it does not limit you from going back for second and even more feeling. So in case you have any. Uh, request or any direction or uh, 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 request, we have a conference on attendance who will be uh, on time to assist you. And um, and within the conference, we have Wi-Fi and the partner will be on that side of the world. That is the uh, tracker at 1234. And if you have any issue with the connectivity, we have an IT manager on time to assist you with the connection. And in case of uh, any inference within the conference, any resource at the desk will be in your discussion. And if it is a major issue that you feel you need to talk to the hotel manager here, dial that number there to listen to me. And uh, for printing services, there's an email just below that number. Reach out to the email and include the name of the conference. Then next to the dispenser there, we have a welcome event. As we are trying to boost our immune system, that is the best thing for you. Let me just that is the best drink for you. And uh, for washrooms, you have uh, you have uh, just right outside the door from uh, from the registration desk. On the right hand side, we have the ladies. On the left hand side, we have the gym over here. Then uh, for accommodation, you normally know, charge the sister room for bed and breakfast. But for the conference clients, we give you an offer of 4,500. And for bed only, we give you two options. Option one, 2,000. And option two, 1500, that is for the standard room. And um, the difference between the two options is uh, for the 1500, the room doesn't have the tea amenities. That is uh, the hot water kettle, the tea bag, and sugar. But uh, if you want to upgrade yourself to a superior room, then you pay 2500 for bed only. So I hope you're going to consider those options and not saying yourself uh, looking for a facility in the chapter that we are here. And, um, and the evening you are doing presentation for the conference hall. So you can request you can get the whole at least by 6 p.m. so that you can follow that activity protects you and your colleagues. 
So before we leave, if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask. Any query? No questions, but thank you and have a good day. I'm Jumbo. I'm Jumbo Tena. Good morning and welcome to this training for water services providers. OSH committee members. Just in case you don't know what OSH is, Occupational Safety and Health. This morning, I am delighted as the Managing Director of Kipia Africa, my name being Dr. Gaduru, I am delighted that we are joined by the Director of Occupational Safety and Health Services at the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection, Dr. Andrew Muruka. Dakari, if I could request you just to wave your hand because they're looking around. That's Dakari right there. Asante Sana. Asante Sana. So, when it comes to matters related to the Kenya OSH issues, this is the gentleman who takes care of the national agenda in terms of policy, in terms of making sure the audits are done, in terms of the reports that are submitted back to the directory. So it's a pleasure, sir, to have you here. Thank you so much for gracing this occasion. We do not take it for granted that you have a very busy agenda, but you have seen it fit to join this training that is organized by WASPA in conjunction with BWAC. We will be introducing BWAC now. It's a real pleasure to have with us Mr. Jens Kaiser, who is joining us online all the way from Germany. And I will invite Mr. Jens, please unmute your microphone and take this opportunity to welcome our guests to this training. Welcome, Jens. Yes, Jumbo. <clears throat> good morning, everyone. <clears throat> good morning. Uh, good morning, Dr. Muruka. Um, good morning, uh, participants. Good morning, representatives of uh, WSPs. And uh, last but not least, uh, good morning, uh, Dr. Gathuru, our long-term friend and partner uh, in Kenya. So good morning, everybody from Germany, uh, where we are just uh, entering a uh, quite difficult uh, situation because uh, our government yesterday has introduced uh, another lockdown of four weeks duration. So um, the restaurants, hotels um, and um, entertainment institutions will be closed. So there's a lot of debate going on now, but uh, we have rising uh, COVID-19 numbers in the last few weeks. Uh, all over Europe. So our government has decided uh, that um, we will go into another four weeks. They call it a light lockdown. So offices, businesses, companies, and shops will be open, but um, restaurants and um, uh, entertainment institutions um, and everything which is not necessary for daily life uh, will be closed. So a um, lot of companies uh, complain, a lot of the debate is going on about it, but um, our office will also be um, not fully occupied every day, but our activities will go on. Um, we will uh, start working from home. Most of the days I will be at home as I'm now, so um, I will not uh, take any risk. But um, I hope that after this uh, period of four weeks, the situation will become easier 
and um, I am very much looking forward and hopefully I can do uh, travel to Kenya for the East Africa Water Summit. So uh, it uh, looks like it now depends very much on Kenya, uh, whether they will let Europeans in uh, in four weeks or not. So I will see and I hope and I press my thumbs uh, that I will be there for the East Africa Water Week. Everybody here in our office is already very much um, keen on uh, starting traveling again. And uh, we hope that uh, it can be done at least in 2021. So for those who do not know me, um, my name is Jens Kaiser. I am the project manager for several projects uh, at BFZ and BBW uh, in Germany. Um, and um, one of these programs is the water, our water programs, uh, water projects um, in Kenya. Um, I came to Kenya for the first time 60, almost six years ago. Um, when we worked in a long-term partnership project uh, between our association and uh, several water associations in Kenya. Um, and um, then we started the VWAT program uh, about two years ago or three years ago. And um, I'm also the coordinator for this program. And um, I will soon tell you more about this. So, what is BFZ? For those who do not know our institution, we are one of the largest uh, training providers in Germany. We belong to the Bavarian business associations and um, we have uh, training centers all over Europe um, and we run about 11,000 uh, staff members. So we are one of the largest uh, training providers. Our clients are mostly public institutions like uh, governments, universities, <laughs> Um, local governments, labor office, insurance companies, and so on. And we do have a small uh, international branch. Uh, this is where I work. Uh, we have now 30 people working internationally, and we implement international projects. And our main objective is to bring the knowledge from Germany in different areas to other countries. Mostly, we focus on training, and uh, knowledge transfer, and this is what we also do in the water sector um, in Kenya. So um, in the BIVAT program, we uh, will transfer knowledge from our experts, our expert networks in Bavaria um, to Kenya, to the uh, people who um, manage and uh, operate the Kenya water uh, and wastewater um, facilities. And uh, this is what we do in, um, uh, in Kenya. And I will soon, uh, in one minute, I will uh, give you more uh, background on the BIVAC program. Um, so I'm very delighted this morning that there's another um, audit training uh, conducted by uh, KIPIA. I think the um, water service providers, they are now facing a very difficult time in the face of the pandemic. Everybody here in Europe wonders why actually Africa has uh, quite low numbers of, um, of infections, much less than in Asia or in Europe or in the US. So we don't know. Uh, many theories are going around. Um, I think that African countries have a lot of experience um, with uh, disease and pandemics. So uh, that's why there was a quick reaction. And uh, it's actually a very good sign. But still, um, numbers are also there in Africa and Kenya. And um, I'm following actually the development um, of COVID-19 in Kenya very closely because I'm planning to uh, join the East Africa Water Week. So I have to see how the situation uh, develops. And I also understand that for the water service providers, the situation is um, critical now because um, they are what we call systemically relevant. So um, we have several um, we had several meetings with German water companies in the past few weeks, and they are also um, <clears throat> uh, designed as systemically relevant. That means that they cannot go into lockdown because they provide an essential service and um, they provide water and wastewater supply, which actually is something uh, that you need for every human uh, activity every day. So uh, they cannot uh, stay at home they cannot go into lockdown. So they have to be maintained, maintained um, every day, uh, regardless of what is the pandemic situation. So that's why I understand that the people who work at the water service providers are under increased stress at the moment. And that's why I'm very happy that uh, there's already the third uh, cohort training going on 
on, um, on OSH in times of uh, the pandemic situation and with a special focus on the um, pandemic uh, situation. So thank you again for KIPIA uh, to implement uh, these programs. We work with KIPIA for a long time, so I, uh, I uh, better uh, join us. Um, every, uh, it is very important uh, that the water set for hope that um, in the face of the pandemic with international organizations being uh, very careful uh, with traveling, I hope that uh, there is no uh, decrease in support for the water uh, in uh, Kenya. So why is uh, occupational health and safety um, important? Um, I understand we will hear more about this topic by Dr. Muruka very shortly, but um, we know that um, here we very high importance on, uh, on occupational health and safety um, in any uh, profession, especially when it comes to technical um, installation and uh, technical companies. Um, it is important to prevent injuries and uh, illnesses. Um, it is very important to, um, uh, to improve health and safety standards and to bring down unnecessary costs for accidents and um, health hazards and um, uh, People in the world have to be uh, prevented, and also it is important for companies to reduce cost in um, in uh, dealing um, with people who have gone through accidents and uh, sicknesses. So that's why um, occupational health and safety is indeed a very important uh, topic, not only in uh, times of uh, the pandemic, but uh, there's a special there's a special um, a need um, now to focus on these topics. So um, we are very happy at the BFZ that we support uh, WSPs um, and this training uh, already for a long time. Uh, BIVAC project. So what is BIVAC? Uh, BIVAC is the um, Bavarian Institutional Water Cooperation. It takes place in three countries, in Kenya, in Tunisia, and in Lebanon. And it was launched in June 2018 to bring experts from uh, the water sector in Bavaria uh, to Kenya and uh, to uh, support the um, people who work in the Kenyan water sector. And uh, what we are actually doing there um, is we provide um, uh, trainings for trainers to, um, uh, to provide um, a formal training course and develop and provide formal training courses for those people who work in the water utilities water and wastewater. So we have uh, created three courses. One is the basic course with general knowledge. Then we have a course with a specific focus on water and then another course on wastewater. So we have uh, designed together with our Kenyan trainers, we have designed curricula. We have trained the trainers in modern training methods and we have developed uh, the curricula and handbooks for them. So um, these handbooks are now about to be printed. We have uh, adjusted them to the Kenyan uh, situation and uh, they are about to be printed and uh, distributed in Kenya so that um, with the support of the Kenya Water Institute, uh, hopefully very shortly in 2021, we can return to Kenya and we can uh, implement our first uh, courses uh, where actually our new trainers will provide training for those people who actually operate the water supply and uh, wastewater facilities um, in Kenya. So we are now working in Nairobi and in uh, Kisumu. And um, the next steps for our BIVAC program um, will be the implementation of the pilot courses um, in Kisumu and in Nairobi. And um, we um, will implement also a training for an examination committee so that the people who pass through these courses will be um, properly um, certified and they will get a certificate which is recognized hopefully all over Kenya. So uh, we will start this course very soon as a hybrid. So our trainer can um, introduce the course online and then we will do follow up uh, in Kenya um, as soon as we can uh, be back um, in Kenya again. So handbooks will be distributed uh, very shortly 
um, with the knowledge which is required for trainers and for operators in the water facilities. And um, we um, are also hopeful that we can put together uh, delegations uh, from uh, Kenya to visit uh, Bavarian water installations and water companies by next year. Um, so this will take place online uh, in 2020. In the last um, few weeks, I have been going around with um, a camera team in Bavaria to visit um, 10 water facilities, water companies, wastewater plants. So um, we will uh, shortly introduce and announce officially this program, and um, then we will provide these uh, short videos um, where the uh, managers introduce their, their company and their facility. We will introduce this um, very shortly, and uh, people in Kenya can join, they can register, they can watch the second week of January. Uh, online interaction with companies and uh, managers from the Bavarian uh, water. Uh, companies and uh, installations. So this is what we are doing. We have we had to react um, to uh, the travel ban and uh, to the pandemic situation by um, improving our uh, knowledge about online uh, meetings, online uh, trainings. So um, this is why um, I'm also um, happy that um, I can see you there in the, in the room through video without being uh, present. So, um, and in the same way, we had to adjust our delegation uh, who usually comes once a year to, to Bavaria, but in 2020, it was not possible. So we do it online by uh, producing videos um, about our water companies and uh, we will show them uh, very shortly. And all of you are invited uh, to join our program. There is no uh, limit in particip participation. So if we have a high number of people, that's very fine. And um, yeah, then, under the BIVAC program, we will also provide uh, equipment for training um, in uh, Kisumu and uh, Nairobi Kenya Water Institute branches. Um, again, with the help of um, Kipia, who help us to acquire uh, the equipment and uh, install it properly and make sure that uh, people um, in the training institutions are properly trained um, and they know how to use this equipment. Um, because we don't want uh, that it will be there and nobody knows how to use it. So um, this is what uh, we do in, um, in Kenya. This is what we do in 2020. And this is how we, um, we adjust to the pandemic uh, situation. Um, let me end here. And um, I'm, um, I, I'm very hopeful and um, I'm very uh, much convinced that it will be a very successful and uh, informative training with a lot of new information. I have read the reports on the previous training. So um, I know um, this is very uh, useful for you in your daily work. And I'm very, very hopeful to see all of you uh, in the East Africa Water Week um, in December. Okay, thank you so much. And um, I'm looking forward to a very great, uh, nice training. Uh, best regard. Thank you, thank you. A warm round of applause for Mr. Jens, please. <laughs> thank you very much, Jens, for that detailed brief on BWAC, the work that you've been doing here in Kenya. We are extremely grateful for your continued support, especially in this today's relevant course of occupational safety and health, where we'll be looking at the wellness of these workers, and especially with the support of the OSH committee members. Mr. Jens, allow me to request that when you visit Kenya, hopefully in December, we make a courtesy call to Mr. Muruka at the directorate, I think it is very important we find ways also in the water sector to cooperate internationally in the area of OSH. I would be very, very keen that we pay him a courtesy call and we see what we can do together in 2021 going forward, both here in Kenya, 
and maybe the potential that we also invite the director to Germany uh, for various purposes related to occupational safety and health within the water and wastewater space. So let us have that discussion kindly. We are looking forward to the East Africa Water Summit. We'll be informing this group about it in a lot of detail tomorrow at the closing ceremony. It will be a hybrid summit. So I think Mr. Jens, in terms of proof of concept, this is a proof of concept that we can do hybrid. I think it will be a balance between a small physical group. We welcome you, we welcome your partners, the director certainly, we welcome him, and key people from the water sector, like the cabinet secretary, the principal secretary. We will also have majority of the WSP staff joining online. So by way of proof of concept, I hope this is a clear indicator that we can deliver a hybrid solution. We are ready. And we look forward to supporting your father. So thank you for that. I would also like to thank my colleague, Peter. Peter is the ICT manager for us at Kipia for making this possible. So Asante Sana, Peter, we appreciate you a lot. And now we will proceed to the next part of the program. Mr. Jens, feel free to stay for another 10 minutes as we get the participants to quickly introduce themselves. Please, Tafadali, Mpondie Majina Yako, na WSP, Mbako Unafanya Kazi. Allow us to start with this lady here, Tafadali. Just say your names and the WSP you are from. Feel free to vocalize yourself. Karibu sir. Hello, hello. I'm Kibak Adan from Mandela School. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, I'm Jan Salat from Mandela School. Thank you. Good morning. I am Theodora Madara from Zulia Wati. Good morning, all. Good morning. I'm Vilma Nasimi from Zulia Wati also. Good morning. 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 I'm Peter Kingara from Chesla Badia Okay, thank you. We'll go beyond that. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Tarantin from Andrea Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Frank Kingara from Andrea Good morning. Okay, thank you. And I think a couple of other people will be joining us in the course of the meeting. Karibuni sana, feel most welcome. This is a training where we treat you as you are adults. So we talk one-on-one. -on -one. We want you to be open. We want you to be free. We want you to ask questions. We want you to interact with us. Upon some, the reason we have your name there is because this is a personal issue matter. So we also want to get to know you personally. Because safety is not just about your WSP, correct? Mm -hmm. Safety is about your home, your family, your children, your spouse, your fellow workers, correct? Your community. So it is really a personal issue. It gives me great pleasure to have you with us. And 
Mr. Jens, Peter, thank you so much for joining us. I will now be inviting the director to proceed with the presentation on occupational safety and health law. And I wish you both a great day. Asante ni sana. And bye-bye.